Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial of Techies on the Go. So in the last video, we have used a Docker Compose file to deploy a Spring Boot application with MySQL. And there we faced a problem is that whenever this we are using uh, Docker Compose and we will be deploying a MySQL container, the data won't persist. Whatever DBs we have created in the previous deployment, it will be gone once we have taken it down. So we need to make it a persistent so we need the data to be stayed as long as we want so how we will do that the solution is we will be using volumes for that volumes are preferred mechanism to persist data generated by and used by docker containers the volumes context exists outside of the life cycle of a given container so it will persist as long as we are giving a command to destroy that volume. So whenever we are deploying it again and again, like once we deployed a MySQL container and we have taken it down and next time we are upping that container, whatever data we have saved or whatever data we have present in the uh, MySQL database, it will be there in the, for the available for the next container also. If we are specifying the same path in the Compose file. Let's see how this volume can be attached to the existing Docker Compose file. So we have this Springboard application and Docker Compose file. We can you can refer if you haven't watched the previous video. We can refer the previous video. I will be providing the link and the GitHub URL to clone this uh, repository. And so we have the Docker Compose file. So I have explained in detail about what are the uh, elements that is present inside this Docker Compose file. So here we will be having a service that is MySQL container is there. So here we will be adding a volume. So volume, volume is another property. So volumes and in here we will be providing a volume name. Volume name will be MySQL data. Simply any name we can give. And we'll be specifying a path. Was we'll be giving our slash lib slash mysql. That will be a path where this volume is mounted. So the data will be present there. And we need to give this volume. We need to give this uh, mention the volume name here also. As a service file. Okay, service. So here we'll be mentioning the volume name that we have provided that is mysql data that is the volume name you are given okay. so we have attached we have told the docker compose file the configuration file we will be yeah, where to mount the volume and the volume name we have mentioned the volume name here also so now we will be running this docker compose file docker. so we need to run that docker compose minus f that is a file name docker compose yml and up and we will hit enter so let's see if this is deploying or not this creating network creating volume i can see the volume has been created that we have mentioned mysql data so it's not name the volume has been created and creating Spring Boot standalone application. You can see the MySQL standalone application container is running. Now the Spring Boot will be deployed. We'll wait for some time till it can deploy. There you can see the Spring Boot application is now deploying. I think it is initialized in 8080 port. Now they are trying to hit the database. 
yeah we got that same error in the last video that is we don't have this database created in the volume so we have created a new volume newly so it is trying to as you can see in the error uh, it is could not create the database connection fail so it is deployed now we can check the container this docker container ls yeah you can see two containers are present so we will get on to this mysql container and we will try to create a db there db and a table there execute minus it in the container id and uh, where we want to access is bin slash bash so it is there now so mysql minus u root minus p and the database name is demo password so it is inside so check whether anything is present check table show tables so it is an empty set now so we will insert some data we will create a table there okay table is created and we will insert some data insert into login comma test comma test it is inserted now select star from the table name slogan you can see the data is inserted now we can hit the uh, ap from the local host itself so i have this swagger installed so i will be hitting this post request we have given as test that is a username yeah hello test it is present now so this uh, spring boot application as mysql is running and we have created a table inside that so now we will try to down this application this two containers whatever we are created and check whether the data is persisting if for the next time if you are running that so docker the same command what you have used for opening the application docker compose minus f that is the file name and minus and uh, sorry uh, down so it will take down all the containers that was created using this docker compose file so you can see this as uh, stopping the containers bring good docker mysql standalone okay. okay now the container stop just check whether it is present this totally removed or not docker container ls we can see those two containers are gone uh, this is some other container i have created earlier so now we will try to make the container up once more and see whether the data is persisting or not we have given a volume inside that so we will be have mentioning the volume path in this docker container so it will point to a same location so we will what do we do is yes. Compose same the command we have previously done that same command we will be hitting and so it is creating the network and Spring Boot application. Let's wait when the until it the containers are created. <coughs> My SQL container is created now. Spring Boot application is deploying. Yeah, you can see the Hibernate connection is successfully done. Previously, we got an error because that table does not exist and Spring was not able to connect the database. 
but now we are getting the connection successful and no errors are coming and just check whether the data is present we can just refresh this swagger and check we can hit the same test and we will try out yes that exists so as you can see uh, the vo in the volume the whatever data we have given that is the whatever table we have created it is still there uh, when we have removed that container from the scope also it is still there after redeploying the container so this is how the data has been persisted and if we want to remove that data also from this container list we are using the commander to down and we will be giving minus v for that so it will remove the volume also you can see the volume will be removed from here okay. so you can see removing the volume whatever we volume we have created so now the data volume is also removed so and the next time when we are hitting we need to do the same thing we need to create the table and redeploy that if you want to persist the data we don't need to use that minus v command here the data will persist as long as we are giving minus v so in case of any queries please reach out to me in the comment box i will be answering them thank you